All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm an ICT trader, and today we're going over turtle soup. That's what turtle soup is, how to analyze for turtle soup, how to spot it in your charts, and lastly, how I was able to catch an incredible 7 to 1 risk to reward trade using ICT's famous turtle soup strategy with a pyramid entry. If you're interested in that, make sure to drop a follow and a like and stick around because we're about to get into it. Okay, so first things first, what is turtle soup? Right, that's what we all want to know. And for those of us that don't, essentially what turtle soup is, is you are selling above old highs or you are buying below old lows. That's it. Turtle soup is buying below old lows or selling above old highs. And the example that I'm going to use here is selling above old highs. Okay, that's it. This is what we're going to be looking at today. And although it may seem super simple by this definition, there's a little bit more to it. And if you just try and start selling above any old high, you're going to catch scenarios like this. Oh, well, I sold above this old high right here. So this is a high here. I sold here and I got stopped out. Okay, well, what about the next trade? What about this high here? Well, I sold above that high and I got stopped out. And what about this high here? If I sold above this high, well, I would have gotten stopped out again. But if I sold above this high, which is what I did, you were able to catch an incredible trade all the way down to this sell side liquidity. So the first thing you have to understand is it's not just selling above any old high, it's selling above old highs with high liquidity. Okay, so these look these highs, although there's liquidity above this high and this high and this high and this high, this is where most of the liquidity resides. Okay, this led to our incredible sell off here, which created SMT divergence and made relative equal lows with this low and this low here, ultimately creating our sell side liquidity target for the day. Now, we also saw that we engineered liquidity here and here with this high here. Okay, so we engineered liquidity on both of these highs, meaning that this is real strong liquidity. And not only that, we're about to get into the sauce of turtle soup because realistically, it's not just buying above old or selling above old highs like it seems here. Because price is fractal, there may not look like a bunch going on over here except for this one minute fair value gap here, which I actually did utilize a little bit. And more so than that, I actually use this like three minute fair value gap in here, but that does come into this, which is our 15 minute chart. And as you can see here, we swept these highs, this liquidity here. And what did we do? We sold off ultimately engineering this liquidity down here. And in doing so, we created this 15 minute breaker block, which I actually pointed out to the discord as well as on ES, we had this 15 minute um, fair value gap here, right? This was a 15 minute fair value gap, which had a similar thought process to this breaker block because there was also this 15 minute fair value gap here. Okay. So you had this 15 minute fair value gap from this low, to, from this low to this high, we had one candle through it. That's the fair value gap. We had this breaker block and we had this order block. Now that sounds like a lot of confluence to me guys. And it's more than just selling above old highs. Okay, you're selling above old highs into higher time frame PD arrays. You're waiting for internal liquidity to be swept, targeting external liquidity, and that's the most basic form of turtle soup. So now that you understand, I'm just gonna remove this uh, this order block here because it's right in line with this liquidity level, and um, and the lesson is using or learning to use these liquidity levels here. <clears throat> okay, but just know that it is right here in line with all of these other confluences. So now that we know that we have this 15 minute order block, this 15 minute fair value gap, this internal liquidity, and ultimately relative equal lows in the form of sell side liquidity down below, we also have time on our hands. So this line here is 130, right? This is our 130 move, which makes perfect sense to have a 130 Judas swing up to buy side liquidity into a high time frame PD array, selling off to our sell side liquidity, 
which also, in also incorporates our 2 o'clock p.m. silver bullet. Right? This is also part of what I was thinking when I created, or sorry, take, took this trade and created it. Um, in my head, I was anticipating all of these things to happen beforehand, and when they did play out as I was hoping or expecting them to, I had to take this trade. So we have this all occurring, right? We're sweeping buy side liquidity with time on our side into a higher time frame PD array with a bias of lower prices. So what are we going to do here? We're going to take a sell. We're going to sell the buy stops. Everybody that's buying here on this breakout of this strong resistance area, well, we're going to fade them. And we're going to look for lower prices here. As smart money would do, they're going to sell those buy stops. And I always have a 15 handle stop loss here. So that's what I was looking at doing and ultimately targeting this sell side liquidity and a little bit deeper, but we'll get into that a little bit later as the video goes on. So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm, ex I'm marking out my low here because we did sweep this buy side liquidity here. We know what the 2022 model is, which is buy side liquidity sweep, break of structure, the downside, fair value gap entry. So this is our one minute low that we're needing for a market structure shift. Okay, this is our one minute market structure shift level. And this is our three minute market structure shift level. And to me, if we get a three minute market structure shift after sweeping this liquidity into this high time frame PD array, we're going lower. If the three minute tells me we're going lower, we get a, a market structure shift on the three minute after sweeping liquidity. It's pretty telling to me. Full stop, we're going lower. And, and that's one of my favorite time frames to use in conjunction with the 2022 model. Now, this is not a 2022 model entry, but that's what I'm going to use as my confluence or sorry, more importantly, as my confirmation that my bias and my trade idea is correct and I am on side of the algorithm. So we know this is the three minute low. This is our one minute low. And in saying that, we get tagged in actually at this candle here. And when this occurs, ES is already tapped in. So this, you can see here on the cursor, this is when we engineered liquidity here on NQ. But we already took out the liquidity on ES, these equal highs, we already took that out. So there's no reason for ES to go any higher. So we're expecting SMT divergence here because there's no reason for ES to go higher. But there is a reason for NQ to go higher because it still has this buy side liquidity. So when this is forming up here, we're expecting SMT divergence here, but we're not taking a trade based off SMT divergence. We're just using that as further confirmation. So you can see we push up here. I actually get tagged in right here. I mark an order as soon as we kind of start breaking this high. And then we start to sell off here. Two o'clock hits. We continue our sell off. I'm just going to make NQ full screen here because that's where the trade took place. And we get a close below this low here, confirming our one minute market structure shift after sweeping buy side liquidity. So we shift market structure to the downside on the one minute, which means that we've also formed a one minute breaker block. Low, high, higher low, higher high, and now a lower low that swept internal liquidity in the form of this high and this high. Um, I don't want the box, sorry. So we have this internal liquidity here, right? This is internal liquidity. And this black line here is our external liquidity. So we swept that, shifted market structure to the downside with SMT divergence, meaning that we have a one minute breaker block right here <clears throat> which means that this is something that we can pyramid off of but I don't want to take further entries I want to look for a little bit more confirmation or a pullback into a discount still and look at that we break three minute structure so we're now shifting market structure to the downside on the three minute which is confirmed by this candle closure here 
which means we also have a three minute breaker block. We have a one minute breaker block inside a three minute breaker block. And so now I'm looking, okay, I am on side. The algorithm is telling us we're going lower. This is some pretty big displacement, shifting market structure on multiple time frames, following my plan to a T. So I am looking for entries and this here, since we've made this, whoops, I want to take our premium discount right here. And as you can see, this is premium, this is discount. But since I have such a good entry here, I'm actually looking to get involved right at the bottom of this breaker block. Um, let's just make this yellow, for example. But as you can see in this photo here, price actually does not tag us in there. And we end up selling off further and into this five minute fair value gap down here, which is where I end up taking off partials. So I've taken off partials there and uh, completely removed my risk, but I have pretty small size still. So although I caught a 65 handle move there for my first partials, which is great, I do still want to look to add more. So first thing that I can see is we kind of have this order block forming here, which is cool. But on top of that, on the five minute chart, we have a five minute fair value gap here. It hasn't quite formed yet. Uh, right here it forms. So now the five minute fair value gap has formed. And we've now made internal liquidity right here at the bottom of this fair value gap, as all fair value gaps have. Keep that in mind, guys, because that's pretty, uh, pretty untalked about but we have internal liquidity we have this one minute order block here and we have this five minute fair value gap so I actually am looking to add my position or go even further short here right here so I want to pyramid entry here on the five minute and as you can see price jumps up here tags us in pushes up a little bit higher right into this order block before dumping down. And I did not mean to take partials here, but I did, it was just a mistake. Obviously it's not a bad time, but once I saw us break this low here, I was just trying to modify my orders because I am now using standard deviation tools on this three minute breaker block to project potential prices lower and now that we have, we're starting to break down here and we have this close on the five minute below this 2.5 standard deviation, I'm expecting us to go to four. So I have a target here. And this is essentially what I was trying to set my targets to it was down here and down here. But since I took some off here, I ignored this take profit level here. And ultimately my next take profit is below this black line, which is also sell side liquidity. And I'm looking for five standard deviations here. If you don't understand standard deviations yet, that's totally okay. That'll be a whole nother video. But essentially all you have to know for now is that's what I was looking for. You can just target sell side liquidity. That's where I was really planning on taking lots of my position off there. And essentially we end up falling down here we hit sell side liquidity, so I take some partials off there. And then we even come down into this sell side liquidity here. Price does not go to our five standard deviations, unfortunately. Chops around here, it goes into the last 10 minute macro here. And as it doesn't play out in our favor, I actually trail my stop loss right here. This is where my stop loss is unless we can take out so I'm playing either my stop loss gets taken out or we hit five standard deviations here and I get stopped out on the remainder which means my deepest take profit level was right here at four standard deviations just below our sell side liquidity for 107 handles and a risk to reward of seven to one with our 15 handles stop loss had a seven to one risk to reward and a max drawdown of about two handles. So essentially guys, all you're looking for 
is you're looking for liquidity to be swept and you're buying the opposite orders of breakout traders. That's turtle soup. And how do you know that the algorithm is going to push in your favor? Well, you're looking for confirmation in the form of market structure shifts. And you're also looking for high time frame PD arrays like the 15 minute breaker block, the 15 minute fair value gap to and the 15 minute order block to hold price in your direction and ultimately take out your target. I hope that was helpful. As always, guys, if you got any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and I will do my absolute best to answer them. And until next time.